It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. This is the new Twitch desktop app, and we are going to kind of do a little tour here, going to see what's new, see what's here. Uh, I think Twitch has been testing this app for a while, maybe, maybe it was in beta, maybe it existed and had other features. What's happened now is that Twitch has fully come together and integrated all of its curse uh, acquisitions into this app now. Curse was uh, an older sort of platform where gamers could set up profiles and discussion groups and voice chat and stuff like that. Uh, I never used it too much. I'm pretty sure a lot of people used it for stuff like World of Warcraft. Um, but yeah, now Twitch owns it and they have integrated it into here. And so we're going to check it out. Uh, I think first things first, as you might expect, uh, this Twitch app is still a way to, you know, consume content, to find live streams. Like we can see Nade Shot here, former Call of Duty pro, who has indicated that this is for mature audiences. Ooh. Uh, and, it, you know, it's not too much different than what, like, the, the experiences online. Um, I think maybe the differences are that, you know, the, the theater mode works a little bit differently. You can kind of get it in a, in a bigger screen and have the chat on the side full screen works as you would expect but yeah um content you're gonna get it and you're gonna like it um and it's um, honestly this looks a lot like the website right now with the followed channels over here um i can just click here and go back home and kind of keeps the featured broad broadcast over here uh with the carousel and i can you know pick whatever i want um, it's not auto playing or anything like that. It is keeping my nade shot video down, down there in the bottom, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the Twitch experience. Uh, things are a little bit different though. When you kind of get into like, like this, what right up here on the top, right? Start a call, create a server. So I've already created a server and this is just like discord. So Twitch now has its own integrated version of discord, um, which I think is, I think the main thing that they want to get across with this is that you can use this to uh, set up chats, probably to, uh, um, you know, create communities where people, where your your viewers can hang out when they want to uh, talk to each other between streams, where they, you know, they already have something in common. They like watching you, so now they can come here. This is something that's already been happening with Discord. Um, it's gotten really big recently, I think, having, you know, bespoke Discords for streamers and things like that. Twitch wants, Twitch wants to bring that all in-house, um, and yeah, this is it. So I think what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to hop into this voice chat, hit connect, and then I'm going to, actually, let's go back to the lobby. I'm going to tell one of these guys to get in there. I just put this on Twitter, and like two people joined. Oop. Let's see if they if they're even available. I didn't ask. I'm just gonna have them do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, you can see like the little green thing shows up when I'm talking. Let's see what options we have. Push to talk. Um, enter an optional room topic to appear in the header of the chat window. Moderator, follower, everyone. Yes, yeah, so you can like set up. Um, you can set up, you know, moderators, things like this and give them, you know, decide what, what options they have. It's a little bit different in discord where you can create your own, uh, profiles. These ones have a little stuff already preset for what you could set people to be. Um, yeah, it looks like you might not, might not join. I think I, I'll probably still be in it even if I'm looking around. So files, you can share files with the people. Um, again, a lot of these things are stuff that were, that was in curse and is now in discord and now it's in this. Uh, invite people i can get you know, streamer mode setting hidden content so yeah yeah you guys can't see that link uh, but basically you know you create a link and it's yeah it's just like discord you send that link out and people can join it um yeah i i kind of think that this this is something that could work twitch already has a huge audience a lot of people are using the the, the service to, to watch video and create content um to kind of create, to, to fill in the, the spaces in between, they've already established like their Facebook-like pulse thing where you go to the site uh, and you get a rundown of clips and things like that and people could share status updates. Um, but I think uh, in gaming, uh, people have started to coalesce into smaller groups outside of these wider like um, Twitter and Facebook platforms where you are just exposed to, to everyone at all times. People are looking for more exclusive experiences like... Uh, 
uh, like exclusivity is a cool thing where you can be the gatekeeper and decide who gets into your group and who doesn't and you you feel either an ownership or a membership of, of these groups and that is kind of what I, I think you know twitch is absolutely trying to jump on on board there because that is what gamers want these days um i don't know it's starting to feel like maybe discord has established oh yeah i think scratty just joined the voice chat can you hear me nope oh no i, I told him to join that I'm, I'm thinking that's the notification i'm a smart boy but yeah i mean you get the point uh, i i think like uh join i i don't like he's watching okay so he's watching i can like see what he's watching and join but this is stuff again that you could do on the uh the, the proper site it's just kind of brought in here and make you know to make it a little bit more a, a, a holistic experience um so yeah let's see this other thing mods uh i'm not sure i think it appears you don't have my minecraft mods enabled so yes enable minecraft mods let's kind of see what happens here Uh, install so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be like ways to like connect twitch to minecraft things like that uh and installed mod packs it's like a mod manager which is a very a very interesting thing a very cool thing to add um i think that's pretty smart i do think i do think that uh this desktop app is while it's being built as a community platform right now and a content platform it does feel like a way for Amazon, the owners of Twitch, to uh, establish a, a a client, a desktop side client on your computer where they could maybe start selling you games and maybe start selling you membership services like, uh, you know, joining Twitch Prime more easily and seeing all the benefits in a, in a big app that's always running on your computer that sends you notifications. Uh, there's a lot of potential there to make a lot of money especially from a, a, a you know a demographic of young people playing games who have a lot of money to spare uh, and, and intend to spend a lot of money on that hobby. So, yes, this is it's pretty interesting. There's a lot going on here. I, I kind of don't know what this menu button is up there, but, yeah, I, I, I dig it. I dig what they have happening here. Um, yeah, get games. So let's see. I mean, we can. that's right. You can already kind of buy games from Twitch, but it's just it's not built into here yet that's coming clearly clearly that's coming like library get games and it's going to take you to the website ah that's probably not going to last long so yes this is pretty cool um i'm feeling it but i i still think i'm probably going to feel discord a little bit harder for for now it's just already been established i already have established communities um i hope that those communities don't get splintered between this between discord and this we'll see um but, you know, if this is better, I'll switch. And I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if it actually ends up being better. Thanks for watching. Uh, Jeff Grubb from GamesBeat.com. This is the Twitch desktop app. I have more on GamesBeat.com if you want to get any more there about this topic. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.